Okay, here's one for you guys. Cannot update automatically, and I can't turn my Wi-Fi off. Stays on. Won't go off. And so far, we've loaded automatically by itself, like five of these, five or six of these browsers. And then it's going into search, and it goes through the search. See, it's asking me to download, couldn't upload, can update Firefox automatically, download the new version. You won't leave, lose saved information. Okay, so what I'm trying to do, I close this out. Close this out. Close that out. Close that out. Close that out. And we have... This. So what I, I'm going to do this, add wear cleaner, and see what happens. And this, this one here we have to reboot. Um, so we're going to scan. This is sort of an inactive program. It doesn't ask for updates, etc. It just like goes through and um, scans for updates. Um, uh, sc scans for uh, adware. And uh, so anyway, uh, I've already run Microsoft Security Essentials through it. It does the same thing. It'll give me these problems. Um, and uh, searching for infected shortcuts. I've tried to find, because Firefox keeps coming up on it, like six browsers at the same time. And then we're going to go clean clean it all programs now see it's not wanting to do it see okay now it's doing it okay so it actually didn't find anything it's because okay so if this is about to do it's probably because your PC is contained potentially unwanted programs restart okay so this is whatever a G6 HP and uh, Windows 7 i3 and uh, I haven't had it on the internet for several months. And uh, I can't get the Wi-Fi to shut off. And, uh, but uh, it's got some problem with it. And it will randomly do things on its own. Keyboard's not wet. I know that. And uh, I was a little problem with it. I was trying to figure it out. I could theoretically remove the hard drive and scan the hard drive in a separate uh, through a separate computer. That's probably what I'll do. Um, I was trying to pull up Firefox so I could erase it. I have Revo. I have Revo uninstaller, and so that automatically went through there and did something, and I didn't even have to touch it. Okay, so now okay, the mouse is working. Okay, so the computer is not even full. Of, okay, so I have this TS killer. And so when I go to processes, it will not show that a Firefox is running. And uh, when I did, uh, I uh, did the all control delete and observed the processes. <laughs> Firefox, I raised, I closed down the Firefoxes. And then they automatically came back up by themselves. So you can see it's acting. It's doing something funny here. See, I didn't even I didn't even click uh, the Firefox browser, and it brought up like seven of them. Um, apparently, you know, it could be something with Firefox that's that's just going. You need to update Firefox browser. See, it's, it does that stuff too on its own automatically. Close that down. Close that down. So, let's see. Uh, this TRS killer, uh, it wouldn't let me... Now, see, it'll get stuck. And then if I push enter, then it usually gets unstuck. So, let's try this TRS killer, or TDS killer. TDS, TDS, S killer. I don't know what that said. Now the Firefox opens up by itself, like several of them. Several of them. If I go to Alt, Control, Delete, and observe the processes, I can kill all the Firefox processes, and then it'll come back up. 
come right back up. See, it doesn't want me to do anything with this computer. I'm not sure what that says. See, it, it's, uh, it's moving the, the, the X's so that it's, I have to look and adjust it. Um, yeah, it definitely doesn't, doesn't want me to um, do this. Kaspersky. Press any key to continue. So it goes right into Firefox. It keeps going into Firefox. And, uh, it, it won't, I don't know. Maybe it's trying to update, but I don't think it would update this way. I think it would update, um, would ask me if I wanted to update, if it were not correct. So, so I ran that, let's try it again, application, run, and then it just does this, now, if I have, I'm not sure if I have Google Chrome on this one or not, but it just keeps, it just keeps coming up, you know, and I have to keep crossing these things out. And I've never had a problem with Firefox uh, at all. And uh, yeah, it just—it's got a problem. It's got some problem. I have to keep Xing out. Um, if I don't really mess with it, it will kind of stay by itself. And but kind of if I kind of like try and get in here and. Do something with it. See, I didn't really do anything with it, and it started coming up acting funny again. And these these boxes are, they come up separate boxes, so you can't, you have to look before you can click to close them, because they're coming up in different areas. Okay, so here's my, my mouse is frozen. So if I press enter, usually the mouse will free up. And this thing, pops up again see it does that too uh, it's doing something really weird never had this problem before let's dismiss see what happens so we have several no that was only one it was only one page I don't know why there was only one page so <sighs> I've actually ran malware bytes on this. Um, I've run this uh, adware cleaner. I've run uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, and I've also done a full scan with uh, what's that other program? I have uh, Super Anti Spyware, and it still keeps coming up. See, I didn't even do anything. That came up. Okay, so. Just came up by itself. So, and then what I tried to do is I tried to go into Revo Uninstaller. And Revo Uninstaller didn't show Firefox. Does not show Firefox as a program. And it doesn't show Firefox here so they could erase it, right? So they could remove it and start over doesn't show Firefox and let's see if I go into Windows um, control panel and we go add and remove programs uninstall a program no, no didn't want me to do that uninstall a program okay so here we see a lot of things on here. See, this is doing it by itself. HP setup. So, and then we don't see Firefox here to erase it. So that's a little bit funny. 
Um, okay, we can scroll down. Uh, three, I didn't, couldn't see that. It went too fast. Um, so we don't see, I don't see, uh, I don't see Firefox here to erase it. And so that's what's corrupt. It's got, it's corrupt. So the Firefox is corrupt and I don't see it anywhere to erase it. So that's the problem that I have right now. Now there is a slight possibility that I can go online and update. See, my, my mouse is locked right now. So if I press enter, and usually my mouse frees up. Uninstall or repair Windows Live programs. Let's cancel that. Okay, so yeah, so we got we got problems here. Uh, Citrix online. I used to do a lot of those meetings online, but I don't hardly ever do them anymore. I'm gonna move this. Can't. I tried to click it to remove it, but it just popped up here. Yeah, it's it's got a problem. It's very frustrating. Cisco. EP fast module. Uninstall that one, sucker. So I'm gonna uninstall the Citrix. So I've un uh, actually uninstalled a couple programs already, and I still have this problem, um, and it still keeps going to here. Now it may go to here, asking me. It may be going here to ask me to update but I, I really doubt it because I think it would be more subtle than just um, redirecting everything um, yeah it's got it's got some problems see I didn't even go I didn't even ask for a browser um, and Firefox does not show up here okay I'm gonna take the go-to meeting off uh, I'm not even gonna do it right now Oh, I would rather go, my mouse froze up again, I would go, and go to, Revo and Installer, and then we're going to.